He blew me over with his thrusters when he went forward and I lost the bump on the tractor beam as if I was slipping on a, uh, on a banana peel. I was like, whoa, 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 what happened? Where's the bump? Where's the bump? Where is it? Where is it? He was looking from his perspective. It's on your roof. It's on your roof. And I was like, what do you mean it's on my... Where is it? Where is it? Oh, God. And I was listening and I... <laughs> so we wanted to blow up all the ships around Seraphim Station and Grimhex using the big Colossus A2 bombs. Uh, but that turned out to be <laughs> more difficult than we anticipated because those freaking bombs are sketchy as hell. Seriously, a teeny tiny touch somewhere on the top and they immediately go up in flames. Now whether we were able to pull off that strategy, you'll see here in this video together with a nice montage of funny moments and deaths. Um, also for those who don't know, these A2 bombs called Colossus only are armed and ready for big explosions when they're thrown out of an A2 bomber in the gravity of a planet. You cannot release them in space, right? You can technically mount them off the rack with your tractor beam in the back of the A2, but this is not the same bomb then. It will just explode when you shoot it without really causing damage to anything around it. If you want this thing to actually explode like a nuclear bomb, take out everything around it, then you have to do it and you have to drop it first in the atmosphere and gravity of a planet. And even then, as you can see right here, when it explodes, if it explodes in an armistic zone, in a safe zone, then it will just make a big shockwave and nothing actually will get destroyed. You'll see it here in three, two, one, and boop. Here it is. You see, there's not even an explosion. It just bounces around the ships on the surface because it is an armistic safe zone. So those are not very good. Now, um, here we are at Briar's Baker Yard and I already destroyed that reclaimer here to the right. It's falling to the surface and my friend just threw or dropped another one of those Colossus bombs. It's, it's armed, it's ready and it's falling. Um, and this time there's no armistic zone and I'll skip ahead a little for you until the moment of explosion and boom. Now that is a big boom, okay? And that's what we want. We want the bomb to be armed before we deploy it and throw it against Seraphim Station or Grimhex, okay? And that is where the troubles and difficulties start because it has to be thrown or dropped from the bomber first. So what we do, we have to basically catch it with a tractor beam after it has been thrown out. And then we have to somehow safely transport this bomb to where we want to explode it. And um, it seems to me that CIG has gone out of their way to make sure you cannot do this strategy, or at least they tried, okay? Now, who do you think will win this competition? CIG in their efforts to try and make sure you can't use it, or Star Citizen players who are experts at finding workarounds, because that's what we do all day in the game. Um, so yeah, let's go for it and show you all of our experiments and uh, what result came out of it, okay? So we're going forward now uh, to the moment when I position the Corsair behind or under his, um, a, a, my friend's Chani's uh, A2 bomber. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, then we, uh, we go over here, prepare the tractor beam and wait for him to release the bomb, okay? And once that happens, I can catch it with the tractor beam. It is now armed and ready for explosion. And now I can haul it in <laughs> into my Corsair. Now, one thing I had to unfortunately realize is that the Corsair, although the cargo is relatively big, that freaking bump is bigger. Did you think that bump was gonna be so big that you could barely fit it in here? I did not know this was gonna be a problem. So it, it does fit here, but then I closed uh, <laughs> the ramp and that started to uh, make the bump wiggle around a little and... Uh, my reaction when this happened was, um, <laughs> I was literally screaming in that moment because I, I was at the edge of my seat when this thing started wiggling around and then uh, the explosion happened and I screamed so loud into the ears of my friends in Discord. But um, yeah, so hello uh, hospital bed uh, for the first time. So let's redo, okay? This time I brought a uh, transport ship that has a larger cargo space where I can fit more bombs even and not have to, uh, you know, be so tight um, here on the positioning uh, of those bombs. You see, I already have two of them here because we had big plans. <laughs> uh, and so I uh, I put it there um, on the ground and I was doing it very softly. And 
I also rotate the bomb so that it sits basically on, on its wings a little and the front tip will touch the ground ever so softly and well, it was safely, yeah, it was safely positioned. I was like, yay, okay, good, let's go for it. I, I even helped my friend Chani here to, um, to take an extra bomb for his own um, cargo because you know he can throw it out and then he i can give it to him from on his ramp and he positions it in, in, in his ship and so basically what it means we both have armed bombs ready to deploy you know uh and uh, and to detonate them somewhere so here i leave the i let it go he's taking over with his tractor beam make sure to never touch the same object with its crack tractor beam at the same time it'll bug your tractor beams and one of you will only be supporting from this day on um and cannot really move them around himself anymore so and then i started leaving i just started moving super slow with the c2 and boom i don't know why this happened because everything was safely positioned on the ground little little i don't know vibration or something and boom my boat bombs exploded interesting to note by the way my friend behind me he was totally un unscathed by that no problem so hello hospital bed uh good to see you again my friend didn't explode so then i thought okay you know what let's do this differently let's use the imp of tractor thingy that i have um uh, and uh, and use this because it has a built-in tractor beam that you can use from the ship, right? So I thought maybe it's safer if we just you know park this thing inside um, and and hold the bomb in place while we are flying with the tractor, right? So he's jumping, I hold the bomb, uh, and uh, spoiler alert, I didn't, I actually don't have the recording for that. I was able to catch the bomb with the tractor, um, but then somehow my tractor kept falling. I'm not sure why, but I couldn't safely position it and somehow boom explosion and I died So I was like I was back to doing it on foot Then we were transporting the next bomb and what happened next is somehow freaking raiders appeared out of nowhere um, with uh, cutlass uh, blacks and whatever and um, Forced me to do this a little faster and I touched the ship a little and boom hello has hospital bed. so um, <laughs> Yo, this was um, this was quite a day. Uh, so I came again this time there's no uh, no pirates, no raiders, nothing in the air. So I caught the next bomb and I uh, brought it over here. Now my friend took the bomb into his ship, and we had uh, yeah. I, wait, how, what happened next? That's right. I I had the idea to put the bomb in vertically. I thought, oh, okay, if nothing hits the top of the bomb, then it will not explode, so I just put it in vertically. But doesn't fit, touches the roof, boom, explosion, hello, hospital bed. Now, the next thing that happened was the most fun thing I've ever experienced. He blew me over with his thrusters when he went forward, and I lost the bomb on the tractor beam as if I was slipping on a, uh, on a banana peel. I was like, whoa, 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 what happened? Where's the bomb? Where's the bomb? Where is it? Where is it? He was looking from his perspective. It's on your roof. It's on your roof. And I was like, what do you mean it's on my... Where is it? Where is it? Oh, God. And I was listening and I... Boom. <laughs> Dude, that was so ridiculous. I tried to re replicate the situation that happened in Discord. But this is pretty much how it looked or sounded like. But even more um, real. Because I was freaking scared to death when I lost the bump somewhere. And he told me it was on my freaking roof. <laughs> that was really crazy. Now, and then I was falling because somehow I didn't die, but the ship exploded. I was falling with the ship. Um, and um, yeah, this is uh, what happened next. <laughs> I landed on the ground and I died, of course. Voop. Hello, hospital bed. Good to see you again. It's been a while. So uh, next situation is how to unglitch the Corsair. I thought I showed this to you because I'm sure some of you don't know that yet. Um, is that you go back, you... You, uh, you retract your landing gear, you go back as far as you can, and then you just freaking boost forward like a maniac against the wall. Typically, you will not lose your weapons when you're doing that. You'll just, um, yeah, you'll just go forward against the wall and you glitch yourself free. Maybe you have to do it a few times, but I thought I'd show this to you because Sim, somehow it's still part of the game. I don't know how, but it's this long. But yeah, it's still there. Now, last but not least, we try the strategy that should work the best way, right? That is if he takes the bomb into his own ship you know uh, i let go he will take it over um and what i do next i will jump over to his ship so we are now both in the same ship he's just gonna keep the bomb on his tractor beam while i'm just going to go and 
fly the ship to Seraphim Station, for example. Okay, so I'm leaving my Corsair out here, it doesn't matter, uh, and we're we're leaving, right? And he just never leaves the bomb off the tractor beam. The bomb can never explode because it doesn't doesn't touch anything, right? So this should work, no problem. So as you can see here, we're now uh, flying away. Uh, the bump is always on his tractor beam. I'm gonna close the ramp and I'm gonna uh, execute the quantum jump. And here is the most disheartening thing uh, ever, is that as soon as we started jumping, uh, a few seconds later, uh, the bump just disappeared from his tractor beam. It was just gone. And that was the moment we realized that um, a CIG won this competition. Unfortunately, they have really gone out of their way to make sure you cannot misuse these bombs. They cannot operate in space. As soon as you quantum jump to a station or somewhere, it will just disappear. It will just whoop and it's gone, right? Uh, and that's super sad because um, we had big plans with this. We wanted to clear all these white brackages that are hanging around everywhere and, uh, you know, taking up server performance. We wanted to just destroy them um, with one big explosion or do some other shenanigans around uh, Grimhex. And apparently this is something that, that uh, CIG doesn't want to happen. And they li the bumps literally just dematerialize as soon as you move away such and such far distances from your throwing point where you drop them. And since you can't drop them in space, Space, you have to do it on a planet and that means you can't transport them as elsewhere to use them super sad because why in this big sandbox game where the player make the gameplay why would you prevent certain freedoms of uh, of experimentation like this it's really sad and uh, i hope they will bring it back in because man this is exactly the kind of thing that star citizen players are experimenting and enjoying right this kind of freedom to just fool around and do all kinds of funny stuff in the sandbox universe but yeah so doesn't work. Unfortunately, the entire strategy was doomed uh, because CIG made sure it's not working. So, yeah. Tell me what uh, ideas you might have that we could try. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. And Manny signing off. Bye-bye, my friends.